Hello and welcome to the next video in my world's 2023 coverage where we're going to go over expectations um, and how the 16 teams or now 14 teams have performed at world's 2023 versus what I expected. Um, in terms of myself, you can comment down below with who you believe is um, overperforming, underperforming and is just doing what you expect. Um, as a fan, a traditional sports fan for a long time, especially in an area that has not had a lot of winning and success, I have come to discover a lot of um, pessimism in my expectations for teams, regions, in this case, and things like that. So a lot of this is pretty expected. Um, not really any shockers right now. A lot of people talking about the format and saying, oh, the format, it sucks. And it's like, okay, well, we can go back to the other one. Oh, no, no. I'm thinking this, 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 and that. Okay, well, we're in the format we're in. Um, it's not rigged. It's not scripted. Uh, nobody has been able to persuade me of that. A lot of people like to say it. Um, but the fact of the matter is nobody really can back it up with the reason why Riot would actually want to do that. Um, of course, the matches, have there been a lot of civil wars? Yeah, that happened at MSI as well. Um, is it unfortunate? One could say yes, um, but it is the nature of the beast. That is a possibility with random draw. Um, you know, some people want to say, oh, they're purposely putting Western teams in the top eight in this or that. I doubt they purposely are doing that, given that Worlds is in Korea. It would be better for them to have Chinese and Korean teams there. You are not getting additional LCS North American viewership at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Um, by having a team there. It's just not going to really happen versus having all eight Asian teams there that are in the LPL and LCK. You know, give VCS their credit. Um, so... I mean, come on, let's let's be real here. Um, it's it's a lot of copium, a lot of hyperbole, uh, and that's why I want to go over expectations because, you know, a lot of people are getting hyperbolic about what's going on here, and frankly, I think it's all pretty expected. So, we'll start with LCS teams. Um, expected, TL. Uh, them dropping out is not a shock to me. Uh, did I think that maybe they would have been better than... Uh, Mad Lions and things like that, sure. But at the same time, it's the nature of the draw, right? It is what it is. Uh, against the teams they played against, TL are not beating T1. Should they have beaten GAM? Yeah. Yeah. But um, they're also coin flip. So losing to NRG, not a super big shock. Um, because they lost to NRG already 8 out of 11 games going into that best of 3. I mean, sorry, that uh, best of 1. Uh, losing to GAM, though, I projected gam to win so actually speaking of that expected gam um gam did not you know disappoint me i mean when you play gen g and Fnatic, um would i like them to do better against Fnatic? sure but did, do i think they're going to win that no uh against gen g i figured they'd lose but they're going to come away with um they would come away from this tournament with a win i mean that wouldn't be a surprise so beating tl not a big shock um, above, NRG. I'm surprised NRG beat TL. I'm surprised they're, you know, where they are. I thought NRG would lose to Mad Lions. I'm, I mean, where they are is above my expectations. I thought they'd be the worst team of the top 16, but they certainly are not. Um, C9 expected. Um, they have not disappointed me though thus far. Their results are what they are. Some people say, but look at their record. How does it not disappoint you? I, I'm coming in with reasonable expectations, in my opinion. Um, LEC, we have Mad Lions expected. They s consistently stink internationally. That's just Mad Lions. Individually, I'd like Karzy to do more, but at the same time, Mad are performing the way I'd expect. Um, so, Mad Lions... Oh, BDS. BDS expected. They weren't great going into this event, and for them to even get to the main stage was a shocker. Um, but I'm talking about only the main event, not the uh, not play-ins here. We've already discussed play-ins. I did a video on the teams that are out, so if you wanted to have Loud in here or PSG or something, that's in a separate video where I go over how I feel about those teams after the event. Um, 
I mean, sorry, after after play-ins, I had that. So B um, BDS expected, uh, Fnatic expected, and uh, G2 also. So there isn't a big shocker here, right? So far, I've only got one team that's performing above my expectations. G2, I expected to be competitive against teams like D Plus and Weibo. I'm not shocked by them beating those teams. <coughs> They've been scrimming for about six months now. They have weird picks. They play a different style. They are competitive. They are capable of beating these teams, and they did. Um, I feel like a lot of Eastern fans are going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Or first, the Eastern fans were going to say G2 probably won't beat those teams. Now that G2 did, it's like, oh yeah, well, they played the four seed. So, I mean, they got lucky and played the four seeds. It's like, no, you can't, we don't move goalposts. Like, that's chicken shit. Like, let's be real here. G2 always were capable of doing that. Fnatic, competitive against BLG, beat GAM. Um, you know, I mean, they have not, uh, they've not underperformed in my opinion. Now, as in terms of um, LCK, uh, T1 have been below my expectations. I thought they would play better. They got blown out by uh, Gen G, and then um, almost—I mean, didn't almost lose to TL, but allowed TL to stay in that game. So, T1 below expectations. I probably should have done this differently. Um, well, we can wing it right now. I don't really. Given how many expecteds we have, we're going to just, okay, going to make this a little bigger. So, um, T1, uh, sorry, T1 below expectations, Genji at expectations, I thought they'd be competitive, KT below expectations, D plus below expectations. I thought the LCK would come out better than it has. Um, I really did. KT, I figured, would be better than they are, but they look disjointed at times. D-plus look awful, and I really thought they would be better. I thought Kellen would be better. I'm one of those guys. I Actually, I turned around on Kellen last year um, and in spring this year, and um, I still I think he's actually pretty good. A lot of people think he's an inter, and maybe he is entering this tournament, but I think he's fine. Um, T1... Leaving a lot to be desired, like I said. KT leaving a lot to be desired, but Genji performing as expected. Uh, LPL, we have Weibo performing as expected. They are coin flip, so get your coins out. The result is always a possibility of, I mean, the, the results always could be a loss or a win. So when you go into a Weibo game thinking that that could happen, um, you know, they play at expectation. Um... So, um, LNG performing at expectation as our BLG and JDG. So, this video, you know, a lot of people are going to say it's kind of bait because I only have one team, I think, but playing better than I thought they would. Um, this is, I, nothing is surprising me at this event. And I feel, you know, a lot of people are like, you know, you see even like thumbnails of creators' videos of them making like weird faces, like, oh my God, I'm shocked. And maybe like individual plays, sure. Um, but like nothing is, is going out of whack with this tournament is pretty standard what the results are. Um, the good teams are playing good and that's kind of is what it is, right? I'm not, who's surprised by JDG running this tournament? Nobody should be. Nobody should be surprised how well BLG, LNG, Weibo are playing. Like, honestly, I just, I don't know. Like maybe because people don't watch all four major regions, they, this doesn't happen. But after watching all these teams play every game, they're not surprising me or shocking me, really. Um, outside of the LCK. LCK is. LCK is playing a lot worse than I thought they would. I thought they'd be um, playing much better. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Become a YouTube supporter. And I hope to see you again tomorrow.